What's up guys, it's Sammy Cheese here, back with another video, and on today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make an RPG game slash top-down scroller game in Scratch. Now this is pretty simple, this is a part one of an RPG game series. Um, if you just want to know how to make a scrolling background in Scratch, link will be in the description for that. Also, I'll put a preview on screen right now of what we will be making today. So this is pretty simple, the code isn't that hard, this is only part one, so I'm trying to make this game as easy as possible to make. Anyway, let's get started. Alright guys, first thing you want to do is delete the scratch chat, then paint a new sprite, zoom in, make sure your outline is zero, go to the square tool, make your fill a nice red I would say, so zoom in, hold shift to get a perfect square just like that, and adjust your square until it's about not too big of a size, I'd say that's still too big for what we're going to do today, so I'd say a little bit bigger than this and I say about that size but don't worry about that just yet because we will adjust it later next thing you want to do is go to events go to when I receive change this to start motion go to x0 y0 drag that on there looks show then grab a go to front layer block then go to variables make two variables call one scroll x and call the other one scroll y next thing you want to do is grab a set scroll x to zero then grab a set scroll y to zero block and put that right there and we're done with our first script now you just want to rename your sprite to player and then paint a new sprite so this sprite is going to be the actual grass for uh, the land we're going to be on so you can adjust and make some a simple background for now um i'm just going to convert to bitmap mode then go back to vector and just make this nice green background now let's code it First thing you want to do is go to events, one green flag clicked, looks, set size to, change this to 500, drag that on there, go to events, broadcast start, then go to e events, actually control, forever, drag that on there, go to motion, set x to, and set y to, drag that in the forever loop, then go to operators, grab two of these minus blocks and put them in there, then go to variables, set scroll x to, Put the scroll X on the right side of the minus and set scroll Y2 on the right side of the minus. So set Y2 0 minus scroll Y, set X2 0 minus scroll X. Put that there, that was our first script done. Next thing you want to do is go to events, when I receive, start, go to forever, if, grab four of these if then blocks, and then connect them all and put them in the forever loop and drag that on there. Next thing you want to do is go to sensing, go to key, change this to up arrow pressed, key, change this to down arrow pressed, key, change this to right arrow key pressed, key, left arrow pressed, and all you want to do now is just drag these into the if then blocks, just like this. Next thing you want to do is go to variables, change, change this to scroll x by negative one, put that in the left arrow key pressed, then go to change scroll x by one and put that in the right arrow key pressed, then go to change, change this to scroll y by one, put this in the up arrow key pressed, change, change this to scroll y by negative one, put this in the down arrow key pressed. If you want to test your game, all you gotta do is go to costumes, go to your square tool, and draw little squares near the top, the middle, and the bottom. Now this will actually see if our script is working and if the background is moving. So now I'm going to hit the green flag, and if these squares move, then the script is working correctly. As you can see, we, we can move around the uh, grassland, and it's working really well. But, but there's a slight problem. If we go past the grassland, and as you can see, the grassland will actually just stick on the edge of the screen. Even though we're not even near it, as you can see, we're going past it, it's still there. So there's one simple fix for this, and all you gotta do is make a new sprite. And what you wanna do is select your square tool, make your fill transparent, and make your outline, I would say, about 40. Next thing you wanna do is we are actually going to make a border for this fix. So as you can see, there's these lines around the page, and we wanna make sure our border does not go outside these lines. The border wants to be touching the lines, but not going outside them. So for example, I'm doing a pretty good job here. Just make sure your border is touching the lines, but not going outside them. You'll know if your border goes outside the lines right here, as you can see, as there's a big little white line in the middle of your border. So all you gotta do is just drag it back until you don't see that white line anymore. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna go to code, go to events, when I receive, start, motion, go to x0, y0, and go to looks, go to front layer, and then grab a show block. And now, let's see if we fix the issue. So if we hit the green flag, and if we go outside of the actual border of the grassland, let's see if we can still see the grassland following us. 
As you can see, we can't see it, but I have a slight issue. Our border is not touching the little line on the edge right here. As you can see, you can still see the smallest bit of green, so I'm going to quickly adjust that by just dragging this out just a little bit more. As you can see, I've already fixed the problem and it's that simple and easy. Now what you can do is rename your sprite border and now paint a new sprite. Now this sprite will be our ocean or our lake for the actual grassland. So you just want to go to bitmap mode, paint bucket, blue the background. So I want a darker blue, that's too dark. Bring up the saturation. Mess around with the settings until you get something you like. I like this for example. So now I'm going to go back to code. What I'm going to do is go to grassland code. Just bring this, just drag this code into here, and just drag this code into here. But one thing we want to change about this code is go to set y2, change this to 530. Now let's test it. As you can see, it works. Our ocean is right here, and we can still go past our ocean. So everything's working just fine. So that is actually how you make new sections. So you, what you can do is you can rename this ocean. And in the beginning of the video, you saw how I had all those cool details and stuff. So if you go to your grassland, and if you want to know how to make a house, First, just delete all these random squares you put to test. Then what you want to do is you want to go to your square tool, make sure the fill is zero, and find a nice yellow color. Then what you want to do is you want to bring the brightness down until you get a gray. So you can keep on moving the slider until you find a brown. So I'm finding my brown in an orangish, yellowish place. So I keep on bringing my brightness down until I get a nice brown. I like that. Now what we're going to do is, is we want to hold shift and this will be the roof of the house. So just make sure this roof of the house is in the middle or actually doesn't matter. You can put it anywhere. I'll put mine right there. Next, what you wanna do is go to your line tool, go to outline, color picker, and pick the color of your house. But now all you wanna do is just bring down your brightness a little bit more, make sure the outline is at least 10, and then you wanna zoom up on your square, just like this, and you wanna hold shift. Shift and draw a line. Now this will make the line perfectly straight. So if you want to make a border around the house, this is all you got to do. As you can see, it's working pretty well. Um, no issues. And now if you want to make the top of the house or whatever you want to call it, all you got to do is start from one of the corners, drag the line out, then just keep on dragging it out to the corners or start from the corners and go there. And as you can see, this method works pretty well to make a house. Now I just made one really quick. If you want to perfect it, just go to your reshape tool and mess around with the lines until you get something you like. So if I want this to be perfectly in the center, I can mess around with it until I think it's perfectly in the center. I think that is good. Now as you can see, if I start the game, my house is right there and I can eat, I can walk on it right now, but we will fix that in a future video. Anyway guys, that, that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.